guys and welcome back to Do It On A Dime with Catherine. I am often asked how to tackle a space that seems completely overwhelming and a space that has a bunch of random stuff. How are you supposed to organize the random stuff in your home? Today we are tackling those spaces. Today's a fun video because I actually get to help out another YouTube family, Holly from Baby Gizmo. Hey Catherine, we would love to have you come over. We need organizing help. She lives just around the corner from us and so she asked for my help to tackle a really overwhelming zone of her kitchen. She's a busy mom of three and there's easy changes you can make. This zone for her had to be a coffee station. It had to house her batteries, all of her craft and birthday supplies, as well as essential tools for the kitchen. And from there, we could eliminate everything else. So the first step, Holly, is to get all of this stuff out and we are gonna get rid of most of this. Are you okay with this? I think so. Okay, <laughs> yes, we're gonna get rid of most of this stuff and we're gonna make a huge mess. Okay, And then perfect. it's gonna get more organized. Okay. Okay, we got this. <laughs> yes, okay. This is a Walkman from like the 80s, but it has, if you open it up inside, it has, look at, she didn't even know how to open it. <laughs> it's a happy birthday Holly tape that my dad gave me when I was eight years old. I, I play it every single year because I'm kind of superstitious. If I don't, bad things will happen. This is sentimental. This is gonna go <laughs> in a safe spot. <laughs> The idea when decluttering is to teach your stuff where to go. We took over her countertop and laid all of the stuff out to sort through it. When you are dealing with a bunch of little items, the best thing you can do is focus on a five second decision. An amazing question to ask yourself is do I want to make another decision about this? By keeping something, that just means you have to make another decision about it later. The faster you can get rid of it, the better. All right, blue fish rocks. Yes, so I don't actually technically need these, right? But I'm not gonna even use them. I don't have fish and I'm not gonna have fish. Let's get them out of here. They're trash. The glue, empty glue bottles can go. These didn't even work, so these gotta go in the trash now. And then keeping the glitter. Pencils and small tools that needed to go back into the garage, we all rehomed so the space could actually function for her. The bins that I'm totally crushing on this year from Dollar Tree are the small ones with snappable lids. These are amazing in office drawers, desk drawers, in a kitchen for all of those small items. Your space is limited and you can stack them back in any order so it always looks organized. Plus they're only a buck, you can't beat the price. Put those larger items that come at varying heights in the open style bins. This was a great way to store all of her art supplies and her glues. The white plastic organizing bins from Dollar Tree fit 15 K cups absolutely perfectly. We used a $1 rack to put them back into the cabinet along with some dollar store mugs. So now the zones are clearly defined and only one thing goes back in each bit makes it a lot easier to stay organized. inspired you to tackle a space in your home. Be sure to check out Holly's behind the scenes video and let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see next. You guys know how much I love to hear from you. Be sure to subscribe so I can catch you in the next video and I'll see you guys there. Bye. I love how I'm being schooled on the walk, man. This is Space Command to Zoom. All systems are go for your message to Holly. Hey, Holly, it's your birthday. You're the big star. I am so glad you come. Hey. It's like, what kid would not love this? Seriously!